Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, as you'll be able to see there, the US 30 is just a, a stone's throw away from hitting an all-time high. The SPX 500 had another record high and we're now obviously well beyond the pre-crisis highs of 2007. So US market's very strong, um, but we're now um, attempting to break through potential resistance at six, let's just say it's 16,600. And we need to get a close above that before we can break that fresh all-time high on the US 30. So things are going very bullish there. Um, news out uh, overnight that China is beginning to instigate some elements of a stimulus package with uh, tax breaks for small businesses. They're accelerating expenditure on new infrastructure and rail line projects. Um, pretty much just a starting um, blocks off a much wider package so things going quite well there obviously today is also the ECB rate decision so many traders will be looking at euro dollar uh, later on today and that's at 12.45 UK time so UK 100 obviously a lot further still to go versus US markets we were trading above resistance yesterday uh, but are back below it today at 666 that's also the 55 period SMA uh, it seems to have stumbled right there. The Germany 30 has also done something similar. So if I look at Japan 55, it's been having a really good run, uh, mainly because the yen has been selling off quite quite aggressively uh, as people are looking for riskier assets when the risk is back on. Safe haven uh, FX is, uh, is not needed right now. So the yen is unwinding a lot and that's a really good boost for Japan 225. And we're just trading above potential resistance at 14.977, which is good. Decent break there yesterday. And uh, kind of a doji formation kind of here. But as you can see there, we have bounced off that level at 14.977 quite nicely. So having a look at that dollar yen, uh, as you can see there, we are now trading above potential resistance at 103 spot 77. And the next potential resistance is at 104 spot 63. So uh, interesting markets right there. If we jump onto West Texas crude, it's trading below potential support again. Uh, negative day yesterday, negative again just now. Next potential support is at 99. Not much really happening here from the middle of two ranges. Gold got a slight reprieve yesterday uh, on apparently some physical asset buying from over in Asia. But as you can see, we rebounded off potential resistance at 12.95 yesterday and we've done it again today. Um, so this is the strategic level to have a look at gold. And uh, obviously if we have that ECB rate cut today, very interesting to see what happens with gold throughout the session. But 12.95 is in play. So we come on to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar now is currently trading below potential support at 37.72. Next potential support is at 37.09. So the the idea here still is is that most commentators believe that the ECB will not cut rates, um, but I, I would say never say never, and um, they want to kind of keep that ace in the hole. They really don't want to use it unless they have to. So there has been some disappointing data that's been coming out of the eurozone for a while. Uh, other markets are adding some element of stimulus to help uh, their economies. Uh, maybe the eurozone does need that little bit of extra love. It doesn't happen now. It might happen later. Um, and it's a case of uh, wait and see what happens today at 12.45. I'm going to be setting my alert on there. Uh, and you guys should just make sure that you are doing that as well because this is going to be the big news today. There's loads of data out today, to be honest. You've got uh, loads of European data, PMI, Eurozone, PMI UK, um, jobless claims. Uh, I believe we've got some sort of trade balance data as well uh, and um, non-manufacturing business index data. So lots of fundamental factors, loads of big technical levels. And you know, remember, the US markets are at an all-time high in their history. Um, so a lot of people will be taking that into consideration. IMF has just warned in the front page of the Financial Times today. Uh, they've got growth concerns, you know, markets are at all-time highs, but they're worried about the future. So we'll have to see how things uh, transpire. And non-farm payrolls tomorrow, everybody's very bullish about that now. They all think it's going to be an absolutely fantastic figure. ADP payrolls slightly disappointed, uh, only by about 4,000 incidentally, but um, people have got expectations of a really strong figure now. So if there's anything less than stellar, the markets may react to that in a slightly negative uh, format. So anyway, G, uh, GBP USD moving up in the right direction. We're still slapped by the middle of two ranges. Potential resistance at 67.44. Potential support still at 65.19. Not much to report here. All eyes are going to be on Euro dollar today and the European indices. And uh, join me again tomorrow, guys, to find out what happened next.